Guys, thank you for being here. I didn't really prepare for it. I'm just teaching you as I go, but uh, it's very important. Uh, as you know, my phrase is there's four types of personalities. Which one do you think I am? So the way I do business and the way I see things is always um, cost versus benefit. Uh, if I invest my time in doing this or doing that, which one is more beneficial, right? Uh, so the way that I work at the beginning of each year, and I think it's very important that everybody does the same thing, is you need to plan for three things. Number one is how many days do you actually want to work for this entire year, okay? So uh, why is this important? It's important is because in our job it's a lot, there's a lot of stress, it's very stressful. We need time to rest, not only for our physical body, but for our emotional and uh, psychological. We need to get well rested. So you, you need to find the right balance between work time and family time. Okay? So before we start another exciting year in real estate, we need to know, we need to work out basically a work schedule from January until December, and how many days do we work? Okay, so let me ask you this. How many days are there in one year? 365 or 366. Okay, yeah, perfect. Year, 366. And quick group question. How many people here works seven days a week? Nobody. Okay. Seven yeah. days a week? You yeah. don't work 24 mm -hmm. hours. Oh, yeah. Used to, not yeah, anymore. Exactly. Used okay. to. Not used to, right? Used to, right? Okay, how many people here used to work seven days a week? Yes. 24-7. Okay. Yeah. How many people here used to work six days a week or still work six, six days a week? Yes. Okay. How many people here work five and a half days a week? Oh, five and a half. Okay. And how many people here work five days a week? Oh. Obviously, yeah. as you can see, in being in real estate, most people work between five and a half days to six days a week. You could, maybe out of it, the exception, work seven days a week for one, one week because you were busy, and a lot of yeah. transaction going on, but, but you not cannot sustain this for a long time yeah. because you will burn yourself, yes. you get less energy, and toward the end of the next few weeks, yeah. you will become a lot less productive. Now when I On average, as broker, we should work eight hours a day, and five to six days a week, with a minimum of one day of rest per week. Mm -hmm. It could be Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it doesn't matter, but you need to rest at least one day a week. And also when we make our schedule for the entire year, beside how many days we need to rest and work, <coughs> what other days we need to consider in making this schedule? Other day. The for me, it's the conferences that I go to. Okay, just conferences like yeah. Terry, but those are not holidays. Training. No, Okay, work. so training, holidays. Training. So you have to take those into consideration. Mm -hmm. Okay, exactly. So, do you know how many holidays we get in Canada per year? Yes. 11? No. 10 days? No. No, eight. Eight? Only eight days? To be more specific, nine days. Oh, nine, nine days. Nine <laughs> days. Yeah. Okay, so you guys are close. No, no, you were right, nine days. Okay, yes, nine days. All right. Oh, should we not work on those days? Any good reasons why? I actually work on those days. Okay, but I mean... Depending on the, which, uh, if it comes to the first of the month, <laughs> yeah. you got the expired. So we can go like, last like time we did a yeah. blitz. Yeah. Yeah. It was an holiday, but we did work through. But we take another day yeah. instead. But we don't take uh, in consideration in those dates. I, I, I personally do. Well, obviously, if it's the first of the month or last of the month, it's important you, you can do your blitz phone call. But beside that, because on most of these holidays, the banks are closing. The yeah. government doesn't work. Yeah. So if you have a transaction that you're doing right now, you could contact your mortgage broker, but all the banks are closed anyways. So it would be counterproductive to put a lot of, a lot of the effort on those days. I, because I used to take them off and I don't anymore. And I okay. can tell you, yeah. when you work on the days of holiday for prospecting, actually, mm -hmm. it's better. It's very because good. Because mm -hmm. a lot of people, you know, catch them mm -hmm. in the morning. Mm -hmm. okay. um, and then, like, at least work half a day on them. Because you okay. don't catch them in the morning and then in the afternoon they're not there. For us, that we are prospectors. Point taken. Yeah. That's a valid point. Um, so it depends on how you work. Your yeah. schedule. Exactly. Okay. okay. But I'm saying like versus a, any other regular day versus yeah. a national statutory holiday, you're better off putting a lot of the effort on regular days because mm -hmm. the banks are now closed and mm -hmm. it's easier for you mm -hmm. to do other transactions. Makes sense. Okay. But prospecting is different. Okay. So now we know that out of the 365 days a year, we should work 
about five to six days per week. Uh, if we were to work five days per week only, do you know how many days that uh, how many days mm -hmm. that is per year? We uh, we did uh, calculate uh, the D and I. Okay. Uh, how many days we should work? And yeah. It came to uh, two hundred forty days. Okay, perfect. So per it's year. it's a it's approximately that. So if you work five days a week, okay, it's two sixty days a year, okay. But remember, out of those two sixty days a year, there's nine days for statutory holiday. So I, I did minus nine. That leaves about 251, okay? And over those 251, I took another 10% off. Because 10% because you might get sick. You might not feel good. Oh. Or the but holidays, you, you take two weeks off. No, that's beside. That, that's, that's, beside? That's, that's beside? That's beside. That's beside? Exactly. Because yeah. you said five days a week. Okay, yeah. Five days a week, you know, it's a pretty yeah, regular okay, day, okay. okay? So 10 days off for the days when we're sick or slacking off or we don't feel motivated or we're very mm -hmm. productive. And also for training, because maybe you need the time for training, you need mm -hmm. to reserve that. So that leaves us about 225 days a year, which is reasonable, okay? If you were to work six days per week after minusing the nine days for the holiday and 10% off, you will get about 265 days a year. Okay. okay. So an average broker, if you want to perform at a high level, you need to work minimum 225 days a year, up to 265 days a year. Okay. More than that, I would not recommend, because you need to rest. Quick question, how many hours do we work on a typical day? Eight, eight hours. Nine, eight or nine? Eight yeah. hours a day. And Productive, eight, eight, eight hours a day, exactly. Because you cannot perform at the constant level mm -hmm. for nine hours, impossible. So I did some calculation. At 225 days a year, that represents about 1,800 hours of work. Uh, if it's 265 a year, that represents about 2,120 hours a year. If you take the average of two, you end up approximately at 2,000 hours a year. Okay. What this really means is that being a productive um, real estate agent, you need to be able to maximize your potential income in 2,000 hours. People don't realize that there's no direct correlation between the amount of work you put in and the number of hours you put in in real estate versus your revenue. Yes, the more you work, there's the higher the chances you will close a transaction. But it's not as much as how, uh, how much time you put into your work. It's how you work that's going to make the difference. Quality. Exactly. It's quality Smart. versus quantity. Smart. If If, let's say on average I make $150 an hour times... 2,000 hours a year, that's approximately $300,000. If, if I tell myself, this is the most that I can make, then how come Bill Gates and Steve Jobs and other CEOs makes millions, if not billions a year, and yet they have the same 24 hours as us? It means that they have a better system, they have a better product, they have a better, they delegate better tasks that are, that are important to increase the revenue. We, as a small enterprise and business owner, we need to do the same thing. Not on the same scale as them, but we need to uh, perfect our own uh, working system. Okay? I have another question to, to ask you guys. So, out of the year, how many days do you guys actually work? Do you have a, approximately an idea of how, how, many hours, how many days do you guys actually work? For me? Yeah. 243. 243. Okay. For me, that was my answer. It's 240. 240. Okay. So everybody is about 240. And how many days of vacation do you actually take per year? 240. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. Um, I would say if I put it together, probably 21 days. 21 days. Okay, so from a tab. Actual, like, holiday. Not including Saturday, Sunday, right? No, no, no. I, okay. Actual, like I went vacation. Like okay. uh, when I was in actual Italy. Actual vacation. Yeah, I was in Italy. With your phone turned off, right? Yeah, not taking calls, not okay. dealing with transactions, just hand everything to somebody. Okay. Anybody else? Same thing. Same thing. Okay, so Robert, Lady, approximately 21 days. It, Together it's 42 days. Okay, and anybody else? Yeah. So usually it's 21 days. Yeah. Cool, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. 
<laughs> zero days for this year. Yeah, for this year, but yeah. I'll, I'll next. Because it's KW to pay the cash. Yeah. Okay. okay. Nearly, what Mike says, what a lot of people say that you need to take minimum two weeks off per year. Okay, minimum. Okay. Mm. And every three to four <coughs> months, you need to take minimum three days to four days okay. off as your mini vacation. Every three months? Yeah, because you have like maybe one week or two weeks to really completely relax, and you have in between three to four months. So Why is this important? This is important is because it doesn't matter what your personal uh, business target is for this year in terms of the number of transactions or revenue. You need to establish a consistent and most importantly sustainable lifestyle, mm. so that you are healthy. Physically, and I need to lose weight. I'm the first one to admit. CrossFit, baby. Exactly. Okay, CrossFit. <laughs> right? So you have the time for your family. You have time for yourself. You have time to go to church if you believe in that. If you, you have time to exercise. All of these things will be an, what you want. an important factor that will contribute to the success of your business. Business is not just about money. I, I